A hero's welcome for Sebnem Kurur Finchanji, head of Turkey's medical association, as she is released from detention after three months behind bars. For a fence, an interview on a pro-Kurdish TV channel where she called for an investigation into the alleged use of chemical weapons by Turkey against Kurdish fighters of the PKK, recognized as a terrorist organization by Ankara and major allies like the United States. Of course, this is a very absurd situation because it is unreasonable to define the broadcasting policy of a TV channel as a crime and then to blame me for that crime. Our lawyers have also stated that I can only be responsible for my own crime, and this is the crime of responsibility for humanity. Her freedom will be short-lived after the court sentenced her to three years jail time for the offense of, quote, disseminating terror organization propaganda. But she was allowed to walk free while her appeal is ongoing. Now, the president is still convicted, sentenced to many years in prison, and this will be an ongoing fight because there is no legal and no human, uh, humanitarian reason to uh, convict anybody for saying the truth about health to the people. This conviction will be our next fight, but at least today, uh, Shebnem Finchanti is free. But hope is slim, as Finchanchi and her supporters don't believe she was given a fair trial, especially after coming under personal attacks by President Erdogan. Doctors who struggle not only within these borders, but also for people all over the world, for all living species, for this earth, for the universe, are natural human rights defenders. Therefore, jailing them or shutting down the professional organization is out of the question. Meanwhile, Turkey denies the use of chemical weapons against the PKK.